Catholic churches all around the world are covering up their statues and crucifixes right now with purple veils, but here's why. We, as a church, are entering into a time called Passion Tide. This is the last two weeks of Lent. During this time, traditionally, the church is called to focus particularly on Christ's suffering. We can do this by reading scriptural accounts of the Passion, reflecting on the Stations of the Cross, increasing our own personal prayer, and I just can't stress enough how much more personally meaningful the triumph of the resurrection becomes when we truly try our best to understand the suffering of Christ that preceded it. We shouldn't just let this time pass us by without Without properly reflecting on it. And this is one of the reasons why I'm so proud to say that Truth Threading has entered into a partnership with the Hallow Eye. It's a beautifully crafted tool to help the faithful pray and meditate on what's going on right now in the liturgical season. I use Hallow almost every day, and one of the things that I just love about them is that they're always making new and relevant content to the season of the church that we're currently in. So needless to say, they're going crazy for Passion Tide. We've got Jeff Cavins walking us through scriptural reflections throughout the week. And on Spy Wednesday, it's called Spy Wednesday because Judas was on that spy stuff. Sister Miriam is leading us through an imaginative prayer focused on Mary at the foot of the cross. Halo is running a really high quality operation, but there's always a free version of the app available. And for the next 30 days, so all throughout Passion Tide, Holy Week, and Easter, you can have a free trial to all of the content on Halo, the, the full version of Halo. So if you personally decide that maybe this is something that your prayer life could potentially benefit from from, why not go for it? That's my advice.